Hello, welcome back to Epic Clan. I'm James. I'm here with one of the winners of the CSGO tournament. I'm here with Declan. How are you doing? Yeah, pretty good. Yeah, yeah you've just won. You've just come out of the final. Was it a good final? Uh, yeah, it was. Uh, we played them enough. Uh, yeah, I'm yeah. happy with it though. Yeah, so like, you say that because we've 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 all been playing six teams, basically all been playing each other for three days straight, pretty yeah, much. Best of three every time. So, yeah. So. so let's go back to the beginning. The group stages were kind of like it. It was a warm up. Yeah. Warm up. You were trying to get uh, kind of like you, not show too much. Sort of yeah. Figuring win. out all the other teams as well, but yeah. they're not wanting to show too much. So exactly. Yeah, yeah. Good. We, obviously, we knew that we didn't we didn't want to lose. That was it. And you know, it's all we're just a very competitive team. We don't want to lose. So. We just made sure we won, basically, and didn't show ourselves up. And you did that? Yeah, eventually. Quite well, you went all the way through. So in the second and third day, we had the playoffs. Yeah. And, yeah, basically in the playoffs, you got all the way through to the upper bracket final. Yeah. And then yesterday evening, you, you won that as well. So you yeah. went straight to the grand final without Anything. without losing. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Pretty good. Um, I must, yeah. must feel quite good like that. You were doing what you were expected there. Yeah, exactly. That's what it's all about, like coming here and just meeting expectations. Uh, shows everyone's... You know that we do mean business sort of thing um, and hopefully people will see us and think you know like f they want to do the same thing so it might get a few more people to the event or whatever but yeah it was it was a good event definitely cool. so uh, were there any teams who you're expecting to be a threat or are there any teams who are more of a threat once you started playing them that you, you were like oh god we're actually gonna have to knuckle down because i'm guessing when you came into this event i know you guys actually said this was kind of a boot camp for yeah. future events yeah um because of the small turnout yeah um were there any teams which got you got you out of that mode of thinking because you were like, oh, actually, we we, we have to f properly concentrate yeah. now to um, win this. I, I, we we know we had quite a few problems at, like obviously going into the event, so we just thought we you know we'd we'd rinse it and we did in in a sort of way, but at the same time we changed a few things, so you had to focus a bit more, you had to yeah. be in the game rather than it just flowing like it does online or whatever. Um, but I mean, I was, you know, like we knew the sort of what what to expect, and like we've said in so many, you know, on the stream and stuff, it's so hard to uh, to play against people you know and play yeah. them three times and nine maps. I mean, you know, it is hard. Like you don't, you, not only do you know them then, but now then you get to know every way they play. Exactly. And yeah. They do the same to you, and you yeah. have to mix your your own game up definitely yeah, as well yeah. as it's trying just, to figure trying out to, trying to not mind ma like mess yourself up in, in the brain so like you don't think too much into it you just play your game hit your shots refrag and when that, that's yeah. what it's about yeah the um, guys in the ASL studio were saying a lot of this is mind games yeah it is yeah, yeah definitely because if you're getting in you're trying to get into their head but you have to stay in your own head at the yeah, same if, time if they were an EU team and they've came here I think we like on the same even the same level same circumstances same sort of conditions and they were an EU team where we had we didn't know each other or we'd you know, met a few times, and I, I can imagine we would have literally just like just steamrolled. Um, but there's, al there's always that little bit of competitiveness, and uh, yeah, the, the lads are, are, are good players, so um, you know, when it comes down to it, sometimes they do just take rounds from you know, good aim or whatever. Yeah. It's not like we can just steamroll, like I said. So. Yeah, for sure. Okay, um, so I've been talking to you guys a lot over the weekend in and out of interviews, and we've mentioned this a lot. I know the casters have done the same. But the fact that there's only six teams here is very disappointing for the UK CS scene, in my in my opinion. Yeah. We're all, we've all been saying it. Yeah. We do want to see, like, we really should be seeing teams, more teams, coming to places like Epic Land. It's the second largest yeah. land in the UK. We need to see more teams. What What would you say to those people? If there's anyone watching this who's a UK CS player, he's playing matchmaking or she is playing matchmaking with their yeah. friends. At this um, point, they want to go to land. What would you say to them? I'd say just get a team together and come down. Obviously, that's that's a start. Uh, and I'd just say that the main problem is a lot of the competitive teams that could actually do well uh, at the events don't stick together. So, for example, there's probably three or four teams probably just been made or a week, and then they think, oh, I can't be bothered to come because it's, it's going to be a waste of time. And then there's the people that don't bother coming because they've got no land experience and stuff. So, one, if you've got no land experience and you haven't been before, just make a team, try and get something together and just come. Uh, and we just the UK scene just needs to be better. Like like I said, everyone just argues and teams fold all the time and changes go and then people lose motivation to come to events like this. Um, and it's just yeah, it's just down to that. The UK scene's rubbish basically. There's nothing to say about yeah. it. But I think it can be better. It definitely. But can, yeah. it just needs people to stick it out if yep. they're in teams. Yeah. And if you're not in a team and you want to come to LAN. Cool. Do it, yeah. Like, get, get, even if it's a group of friends, like that's the thing. Like, yeah, there's no better way. No, like and playing with try. friends is probably better than trying to f just find people that you like. That's all it is. Just find people you like, come to the event, 
uh, and just try and like obviously if you don't come to an event people just say one you're on online or you don't yeah. come to events and you'll never get a chance in a good team basically uh, everyone's got to start from somewhere I guess that's how I got yeah. here so that's yeah, what it's about sure. I think yeah. what you were telling me earlier this weekend that you only started coming to land yeah. like six um, months ago seven months ago or something I think it was about out my first time was I 50 uh, yeah. and then I won the last epic land and then obviously this one and we went to a little little land in London, so yeah, yeah, I, I've, I've so been you've there very long. risen up quick. You're yeah, like you've won a couple um, of epic lands now, and yeah, I, I got given a good chance, uh, and then obviously I've proven myself, and everyone else just needs to do the same thing, um, and just try and get your name out there, and just yeah, yeah just just be yourself basically. Don't yeah. be a false person. And there will be teams of all different levels. Like you don't have to think, oh, I wouldn't get an infused right now, so I'm not going to go to land. Definitely, yeah. There's going to be teams of all levels, and there's going to be teams at land that are your level. So you should definitely. Definitely seek out other people who want to go to land together. That's what it's about, yeah, definitely. Thank you for talking to me. No I think that was a pretty good overview of the uh, the event. Yeah. Um, the, the final was, you know, I think, you know, it was great. Yeah, uh, it was, it was I think we've had some very, very close matches between you, Dysfunctional, and PCR.net. And yeah, I think it was yeah. great Counter Strike to watch. You can watch all the VODs online somewhere, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm um, I think yeah, I'm on stream I'm, and stuff. On like stream, that, yeah. ESL. UK and yeah. do you have any shout outs do you want to shout out to your sponsors yeah um, thank you for Astro for obviously sponsoring us with the gear and stuff that's really good uh, and thank you for ASE for sponsoring the tournament I think it was yeah uh, and obviously hey. thank you to all the sponsors that sponsor us uh, and if you want to see who they are they're on the shirt obviously as well and just go to teaminfuse.net and um, just thank you cool thank you Declan Cheers. and uh, thank you guys for watching